been a, a real good Christmas for us. Um, I felt the spirit of Christmas and enjoyed the preparations and everything went smoothly and well. And we were all happy and that's to be thankful for. And um, now that Christmas is over, <coughs> I can be prepared in a few more days to go on a diet. Oh, this is serving notice on the family, huh? Yep. No more desserts, no. right? Who's going to go on a diet with you? Me. Who? Me. Joe, and you, and Mother, probably. We're all going to look pretty, aren't we? I think we ought to all go on a diet. And By the time we're seeing that spring, of the same thing. We could be just a mere image of our Kelly friends. Kelly, you know, My next Christmas. Whoa. Let's compare this oh. year to next year. Okay, Allison. Would you like to express yourself on Christmas? <coughs> Wait a minute, you better say that over again. My thought is I'm going to get drunk. On what? It's Heather there. On blueberry shaving ice. Oh. What What do you want to say about Christmas? I like it. Do you, turn your hair around so that people can see your hair. We're shaving some ice. That's neat. Okay, thank you. Okay, Grandma Gillum. Well, what are your last thoughts on Christmas? Well, I think we've had a wonderful Christmas. We've all been happy. Beat ourselves to death, haven't we? And we well, I, I feel better today than I did yesterday. <coughs> Didn't eat as much today. And I really like my refrigerator. I notice you have one tangerine in there. <laughs> I zoom in on her, Dad. It's cold. It is. I've got to go get me some things to go in my refrigerator. Good. They won't be bothered. We may end up having to drill that nice refrigerator. Being over here with Joe Nell and Arlo and everybody. All right. You have to get settled there in one spot. Yeah. Okay. Well, actually, I'm glad that Christmas is over. Don't say that too loud. Carol will hear you. <laughs> I'm always glad. When don't it's don't do that. But it's been fun, and it's. Especially today with everybody here, even though rain has kind of kept us all locked in, uh, it's been fairly warm outside. It's up to 60 today here. Yeah, that's what we forgot to mention. It, it hadn't been it's cold, has it? 60, no. Up in the upper 60s. And uh, it's been really quite nice, but it, with the rain the way it's been off and on, it kind of keeps you locked in. But. There's been a good feeling around here, and everybody's enjoyed uh, each other, and we've had plenty to eat. And, uh, Mom, Kelly wants some more. What else can you say when you're having fun? <laughs> Except smile. I almost missed this. This is Arlo's, uh, Christmas present. what is it? <laughs> is that a shirt, Arlo? Well, I guess that's what you'd call it, Briggs. Is that a church shirt or a work shirt or? No, this is a shirt shirt. <laughs> this is a fun shirt. Fun shirt. Dear. I shirt. bet he'll keep it on. <laughs> yes. Now, this is the kind of shirt that I like. Thank you, Mother. You're welcome. Your, your, your You're welcome. mother in law is getting wild. You ought to see the shirt she got me. Is that right? General score, store in Crucis or something like that, North Carolina. We came out to find Jenny up at uh, the place where she was supposed to be, and we couldn't get up there because of snow and ice. So we came to this place, and it sounds like Las, Las Cruces, but it's not. It's got Crucis in it. Real cold, about 23, 24 degrees, and as you can hear probably on the sound, there's a great deal of wind. Probably about 30 mile an hour wind blowing through here right now. This is an old store going back in about the 1880s. We're going up just a little bit further to the next store, which is supposed to be more of a general type store. This was a clothing place. We used it primarily to go to the bathroom. I'm going to swing around here to give you a panoramic view of the scenery, which is just a little valley here outside of Boone, North Carolina. 
probably about 4,500 feet. This is called Mass Crucis, I think. And we're still here. We're just down the road about two tenths of a mile. And uh, we're going to the other store, which I told you about. See the flag moving there? Great deal of wind. Very, very cold. Okay, go ahead, Carol. Uh, well, Don't be embarrassed. I'm not. We came up here from Marion today to catch Jenny at Beach Mountain. But we couldn't get up the hill in the car. We got almost there. So we came back and we decided not to um, lose the day. So we came over here to Valley Cruces. That's the name of it. Really? I was saying Las Cruces. <laughs> Valley Cruces. And this is the old country store that Kristen and I went into. And uh, there's lots and lots of things. Anything here that you found? In What's that, Kelly? Huh? What is it? What? It doesn't squeak, does it? Look at these trains. Wouldn't this be nice for you to have? The train with all these blocks. Look, all these cute toys. <clears throat> Over here, these are little pigs. We can make cornbread pigs. I guess. I don't know what this is. What do you think it is? It says so right here. Probably a meter. Come on, Katie. Unfortunately, she's the one that got it. It's this on film. She's going to see it. I know. Is that the kind of that's your toy one? Grandpa Joe. Hey, Mama. Automatic focusing is coming in now and picking up outside the window there, a scene of winter. Kelly's found something he wants to talk about. This is continuing. This is upstairs in this uh, mass general store. See the ceilings are unfinished, rough cut wood. Everything in the world you want. Are you through painting for the day? You know, you ought to stay consistent with what you're doing. If you're painting, you ought to finish painting. Well, we're back to uh, skateboarding again, and I guess the reason we're back here is because, as you can see, <laughs> Robbie has elevated with just an extension there that looks, looks kind of dangerous with Adam up near it there, the extension. He's elevated it, and he gets up much, much higher. The problem is on this end, he's not high enough, so he comes up and locks his front wheels and falls off like he just did. Okay, okay Robbie, I got this on slow speed. You better move or it'll look like you're standing still. Okay, here I got it. Let's see if he goes up and locks his wheels again. Here comes the patter of little feet now. Yes, Adam.
Get up there, Adam. Adam actually seems to be built better for this because he can get down real low. Seems like the sport for a little guy instead of a big one. Come off this side, Robbie. Huh? Come off this side. You still have a slow speed? Yeah. Tell the boys to stay outside, they're gonna do it. We're on the way over to see Kelly, and I wanted you to see the bags of leaves I collected here for our garden this coming year. I got this on slow speed, so I better touch it back here. There, changes the light too for a second. Now we're back on regular speed. Okay. Kristen and uh, Grandma Meter and Grandpa Meter, huh? And Heather and Joanne, say something. Say hi. Tell Grandpa about the dars you saw today getting crushed. Huh? Show him your dar machine. Which one of those is your dar machine? Huh? Pick it up. Pick up the dar machine. Kelly. Well, Tell everybody to get your dars. Wreck your dars. Oh, God. Did you see dars go? I took Kelly out today to the junkyard. We've been looking for a drive shaft for Kristen's uh, Toyota or uh, Datsun, excuse me, not Toyota, but Datsun. We've been having a problem trying to find a, a drive shaft. Her drive shaft fell off at the front yoke and got bent up, and both the yoke and the drive shaft have to be replaced. Anything else, Kelly? Nothing, huh? A kind of a panoramic shot of the south side of our lot those are apple trees that you're looking at down in amongst there we've got a, a pear tree that we've planted that's sprouting up that apple tree you're looking at there got so weighted down with apples this year it split all apart so we had to cut it back and the fields out there nothing green except the holly tree and if you look real close you can see berries on that holly tree that maybe we can pick out some berries do you see some berries on there I've got black and white on my viewfinder, so I can't see them. There are probably some berries when we show this in color. And on across, everything brown, no leaves on the tree except our pine tree there. Now, and for those of you who down there have not seen our yard, I'm thinking maybe John Keel might get this tape. You see we got Ball Mountain over there and we got a little mountain hill over here and a little valley down in front of our house. 